Andy Lopez Falcon, born 1973 1974, also known as La Muela or Metro 5, is a Mexican convicted drug lord and former high ranking member of the Gulf Cartel, a criminal group based in Tamaulipas, Mexico. He was the regional boss of Miguel Alman and helped coordinate international drug trafficking shipments from South and Central America to Mexico and the U.S. His roles in the cartel were also to coordinate oil theft operations. In 2012, he was indicted by the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia for drug trafficking activities. After fleeing Mexico to avoid gang-related violence, Lopez Falcon was arrested in Texas during a sting operation in 2013. He pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 18 years in prison in 2015. He is currently imprisoned at the Federal Correctional Institution in Raybrook, New York. His expected release date is in 2029. Early life and career Eddie Lopez Falcon was born in 1973-1974 in Mexico. He was a high-ranking member of the Gulf Cartel, a criminal group based in Tamaulipas, Mexico. He worked under a faction known as Los Metros. His code name was Metro 5, M5. Lopez Falcon also went by the alias La Muela, English, The Molar. Lopez Falcon rose through the ranks of the cartel after several of his bosses were arrested or killed in the 2010s. He became the regional boss of Miguel Alman, a city across the U.S.-Mexico border from Roma, Texas, from where he oversaw drug trafficking operations from Tamaulipas to Texas, and oil theft operations. In 2010, the Gulf Cartel and their former paramilitary group Los Zetas broke ties, triggering high levels of gang violence across Mexico. In 2011, Gulf Cartel members killed Los Metro's chief Samuel Flores Borrego, Metro 3, which intensified the violence, starting a series of internal battles within the cartel. Several members of the Gulf Cartel were arrested or killed during this time, while others like Lopez Falcon, sought safe haven and relocated to the U.S. with their families. According to a sealed indictment sworn in by a grand jury of the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia, D.D.C., on the 7th of May 2012, sometime in or around 2000 and up until February 2010, Lopez Falcon and other members of the Gulf Cartel and Los Zetas conspired with intent to distribute at least 5 kilograms, 11 pounds, of cocaine and 1,000 kilograms, 2,200 pounds, of marijuana into the U.S. from Colombia, Panama, Guatemala, Mexico and elsewhere. This information was legally gathered by U.S. officials who intercepted Lopez Falcon's phone conversations with other drug traffickers, where he discussed cocaine and marijuana shipments, procurement of firearms, and the smuggling of bulk cash. For his drug charges, Lopez Falcon was ordered to forfeit all money and properties derived from these drug proceeds, as well as any properties used to facilitate his operations. If such properties could not be located, were sold or transferred to a third party, or largely diminished in value, Lopez Falcon was ordered to forfeit other assets to make up for the total amount of said property. This indictment was unsealed in court on the 9th of May 2013. Arrest and trial on the 18th of September 2015, Lopez Falcon was arrested by U.S. authorities when walking out of a plane's Capital Bank in Far, Texas. He was arrested as part of a sting operation that originated from an indictment issued by the DDC against Gulf Cartel and Los Zetas leaders for their involvement in drug trafficking. On the 25th of September, an identity verification hearing was held before Judge Doreen Ramos in McAllen to prove the man in question was indeed Lopez Falcon. The confusion arose after Lopez Falcon was identified as Eddie Lopez Garcia at the moment of his arrest, which meant his name did not match the individual charged in the D.D.C. indictment. In addition, the name in his indictment was nearly identical to that of former deceased cartel leader Adelio Lopez Falcon, LAIO, who was also the regional leader of Miguel Alman.
His moniker, La Muela, was also used by Jamie or Javier Alejandro Perez, another Gulf Cartel member in Matamoros wanted on U.S. drug charges. During the identity hearing, the prosecution asked U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration, DEA, agent to confirm Lopez Falcon's identity. The agent said he was unable because the lead agent in the case was based in Washington, D.C. The agent present in court confirmed they had information that Lopez Falcon was involved in trafficking several tons of narcotics into the U.S. He said his identification was done after the Mexican Armed Forces shared a picture of him to the DEA. The agent did not have the picture during the court session, however. Lopez Falcon's attorney Arnold Fulguera asked the agent multiple questions, including why the DEA had confused Lopez Falcon's name. Guerra also said there are several people in Matamoros and along the border who call themselves La Muela. The judge was not satisfied with the agent's answers and postponed the hearing for the 27th of September. She asked the agent to come prepared for the hearing with evidence to present and to bring the lead agent to testify in court if he could. Conviction on the 3rd of February 2015, Lopez Falcon pleaded guilty to conspiracy to smuggle cocaine and marijuana into the U.S. before the D.D.C. federal judge Barbara Jacobs Rothstein. In his guilty plea, Lopez Falcon admitted he was a member of La Compañía English. The company, a name that collectively referred to the co-organization of the Gulf Cartel and its former paramilitary group Las Cedas. He said his criminal organization was responsible for smuggling many tons of cocaine and marijuana from Mexico to the U.S. and that he was directly involved in this process, as well as smuggling the cash proceeds back into Mexico. He also confirmed Las Cedas acted as the paramilitary wing of the Gulf Cartel and that its members were mostly ex-military members who acted as enforcers and hitmen for the cartel in their region and against rival gangsters. On the 31st of July 2015, Lopez Falcon was sentenced to 18 years in prison for conspiracy to smuggle cocaine and marijuana into the U.S. The D.D.C. also ordered him to forfeit U.S. dollar one five billion. The court stated this was the total gross profits the Gulf Cartel made in drug proceeds from its smuggling centers across the U.S.-Mexico border during Lopez Falcon's tenure. A few years after his sentencing, Mexican officials discussed the possibility of passing a law in Mexico permitting them to formally request the U.S. government for 50% of the earnings seized from a Mexican national convicted in the U.S. in order to invest that money into their law enforcement agencies. Lopez Falcon is currently serving his sentence at the Federal Correctional Institution, Raybrook in Essex County, New York. His expected release date is on the 27th of September, 2029. The investigation against Lopez Falcon and other co-conspirators was headed by the D's field office in Houston and the DEA Bilateral Investigation Unit. It was part of the Organized Crime Drug Enforcement Task Force, OCDETF, program. The prosecution attorney was Adrian Rosales, who was part of the U.S. Department of Justice Criminal Division's Narcotic and Dangerous Drug Section. Assistant Attorney General Leslie R. Caldwell and DEA Administrator Chuck Rosenberg were the first to announce Lopez Falcon's conviction. See also list of fugitives from justice who are no longer sought Mexican drug war. Footnotes References Bibliography Wyatt, Arthur G., Toriente, Sean, 2012. Superseding Indictment, United States of America v. Adiel Lopez Falcon, United States District Court for the District of Columbia. Further reading Daybird, Michael, 2014. In the Shadow of Saint Death, The Gulf Cartel and the Price of America's Drug War in Mexico. Roman and Littlefield. ISBN 1493010654. External links, Los Zetas and Gulf Cartel Perpetrators of Mexican Drug Trafficking Violence Organizational Chart, PDF. United States Department of the Treasury. The 24th of March 2010.